Hey there! Welcome to another Hostinger Academy video. My name is Kastudis and today we will be learning how you can make a website with WordPress. Well, I'm sure that you already know why having a website is such a good idea. So without any further ado, let's just jump right into it. The first thing that you need to do in order to get your website online is set up a hosting plan. I will do that with the help of Hostinger.com. I'll be choosing the premium plan as it offers a ton of great features. One of them is being able to register a domain name for free. A domain name is what you enter in your browser when you want to visit a website. And as such, it is a must-have. So I'm really happy it is included together with a premium web hosting plan. Let's select it and choose the duration we would like to purchase our hosting for. Here it's worth noting that the longer period you choose, the cheaper it costs per month of hosting. While the large upfront cost that you would need to pay for the 48 months might seem a bit scary, it is worth keeping in mind that Hostinger offers a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's really no risk involved in going for the longer period right off the bat. Let's say I would like the lower upfront cost, so I'll choose the 12 month period. Here you will also be able to create your Hostinger account, either by typing out your email or using any one of these social network logins. Lastly, choose one from the available payment methods and don't forget to enter the code HA10 to get 10% off your purchase. Since the rest of the process is just standard online payment, let's just skip to the plan setup. Once you complete the purchase, your account will look like this. The hosting plan setup process is super simple. All it takes to start it is clicking setup next to the hosting plan. Here's how the setup process looks like. We begin by clicking start now. Now let's select a platform. We will be working with WordPress, so let's choose exactly that. Now we would need to create our WordPress account. Here's the email address I will be using and choose a password. Once you have the details set up, you will be able to choose from some starter themes. Let's skip this step for now. Now we would need to choose a domain. As you got a free domain with the hosting plan, let's select the option to claim it. In this window, we will be able to choose our domain name. And here we can choose the top level domain. I'll be using XYZ. Amazing, this domain is available. Let's continue with that. One last thing you can change is your website location. Now it's set up to use North America. Let's change that to a server which is closer to where I am located. Great, we can now finish the setup process. Lastly, we will need to add some details to finish the domain name registration. Great, the domain name is being registered. Let's manage our WordPress by clicking here. When visiting your website for the very first time, you might run into this error. Do not worry, it is completely normal as you registered a new domain. A new domain might take a few hours for it to be fully active, so let's come back to this later. In the meantime, we can set up an SSL certificate for our domain name. To do that, let's go to our control panel. Now let's switch over to the SSL tab and click Setup next to the unused SSL certificate. Select your domain and click Install SSL. While the domain is still being activated, the SSL certificate might not instantly install. No worries, it will automatically install once the domain is fully active, so there's no issue with that. Now that we gave our domain name a few moments to get fully active, let's start editing our website. To do so, let's click here. This lands us on our WordPress control panel. Now to access the dashboard, click on edit website one more time. And here is your WordPress dashboard. Now if you'd like to check how your website looks now, you can click on its domain name on the top left corner. Now you can see how every fresh WordPress website looks like. It's not too pleasing to the eye, so let's fix that. A great way of enhancing the look of your website is starting by using a pre-made design. To be able to use these design templates, you first need to install a base theme. The base theme we will be using in this tutorial is Astra. Let me show you how you can set it up. 
First, reopen your WordPress dashboard. Now hover over the Appearance section and select Themes. Here are your currently installed themes. We will be installing a new one. Let's scroll a bit down and click on Add New Theme. The theme we will be using is one of the most popular ones, called Astra. However, if you're not able to find it here, you can also use the search bar to find it manually. Once you find it, hover over it and click Install. Once the installation process is completed, do not forget to activate your new theme. Awesome! Once it's active, you can start by applying the custom templates. To do that, simply choose Get Started next to the Thank You message. Now you will be prompted to choose a page builder. A page builder is a plugin that streamlines the page building process. I recommend using Elementor, so let's go with that option. Once you have it selected, you will now see a ton of different designs that you can use for your website. As you can see, some of them have the premium sign on the top right corner. That means that these designs are paid. No worries though, as free designs are more than enough to get you started. If you would like to see only the free designs, choose that next to the search bar. Now click on the design that suits your project. I will be using the local business one. Here you can explore the different pages that it offers. Using this window, you can preview the design. Once you are happy with what you are seeing, choose Import Complete Site. You might be asked to fill in a short survey, so let's do exactly that. Feel free to skip this part. Now give it a few moments to complete the installation process. Awesome! Now that the website has been imported successfully, let's view our site. As you can see, it's a great looking website that has a ton of demo content. Feel free to preview it right now. Now let's say you would like to edit the content that you see. Let's come back to the home page. To edit it, choose Edit with Elementor. Editing the page is as simple as clicking on the text you'd like to change, deleting it, and entering your own custom text. Editing text like this can be done anywhere on the page. Even this button right here can be changed. If you would like this button to lead somewhere, you can change the link of it here. Changing the images is just as simple. Simply click on the image you would like to change, choose it on the left menu, and upload a custom image you would like to change it to. This is as simple as dragging and dropping the image from your local device. Once it's uploaded, select it and click Insert Media. Let's say I'd like to change that background color. To do so, click here. Next, choose the Style tab. And here you can change the color. You can either use the color picker right here or enter the value manually. Great, now the website looks much more original. Feel free to edit whichever section of your website that you like. You can also remove complete sections by clicking on the X icon. Once you're happy with the changes you made, simply click the green update button. Once the update process is completed, 
Feel free to return to your dashboard. Feel free to close the introductory WordPress block editor pop-up. Let's head back to our WordPress dashboard by clicking on the logo in the top left corner. Let's see how our website looks like now. Now that you got the hang of editing your pages, let's see how you can create a new one. To create a new page, hover over New and select Page. Next step is choosing your title. Let's say I'd like to make a page dedicated to my staff. So let's name it Our Staff. Once you have a suitable name selected, click Edit with Elementor. Now, designing your new page can be done in a couple of ways. You can either do a fully custom page by using these elements, like for example, adding this heading here, and simply populating these segments. Now let's add the picture element from the left menu. Simply drag and drop it to its correct location. Let's do the same for the text elements on the right, inserting text first and a heading on top of it. I really recommend exploring all the widgets that Elementor has to offer, as you might find something really useful. Alternatively, since we're using Astra, you can import full blocks by clicking here and selecting blocks. Once you find the design that you like, simply click Import Block. Amazing! Editing this is as simple as everything we edited before. Simply choose what you like to edit, click on it, and enter your custom text. Once you're happy with how your website looks like, simply click Publish. To edit the top header and bottom footer of your website, first choose this Customize option in the top menu. Let's begin by changing our website's logo. Hover over it and select the blue pencil icon. Now let's click on the Change Logo button. If your logo has not yet been uploaded, simply choose Upload Files. Since my logo is already here, I can choose it from the Media Library. Here's the part of the process where you can crop your logo. Let's say I only want to use the hand section of this logo. I would also like to remove my site's title. Let's readjust the width so that our menu is displayed neatly in one line. Speaking of our menu, let's edit that as well. As before, hover over it and click on the blue pencil icon. You can configure your menu from here. Let's say I would like to add a new page to our menu. Let's add the Our Staff page we have just created. You can also reorder the menu items by simply sliding them over. Removing different items is also done from this menu here. Editing the bottom footer is done in much the same way. Let's scroll down to our, the bottom of our page, hover next to the items you would like to edit and click the blue pencil icon. Let's say I would like to completely remove this map. To do so, you can remove this widget from the bottom menu here. Once you're happy with the changes you have made, Simply click Publish. And that's all it really takes to build your website. Now as you might know, a ton of people browse the internet using their mobile devices. Lucky for us, the Astra team we used is already optimized for them. To check how our website will look like on a mobile device, let's choose Edit with Elementor. On the bottom right corner, click on the Responsive Mode button. Here you can select a tablet or a phone as your mobile viewing device. As you can see, this is how our website will look like on a mobile device. You can also do certain edits which will only be applied to the mobile version of your website. And once you're happy with your changes, simply click Update. Congratulations, you have built your website. Now, if you found this video helpful, let me know by clicking the like button. Of course, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. And until next time, best of luck in your online journey.